our press conference. We'll go straight to questions, and we'll start with Kyle Tucker. Yeah, Oscar, how much of a, of a personal challenge? I know you like to sort of personally challenge yourself on, on numbers and different things. For a, personally, knowing you're going up against a guy like Jabari, who's going to you know, be a top five pick, and, and a, a huge guy like Walker Kessler, who's leading the country in blocks, just, just personally. Does this feel like a, a challenge for you and an opportunity to show what you can do against top guys? For me, um, I just go out there go fight. I don't care uh, who they are, just go out and fight. Uh, like I say, the number for me don't really matter as long as we bring in the winning and the team. Like last game, they tried to stop me in every way, like in offense, but I still fight on defense. And uh, at the end of the day, we won the game, that's all that matters. I don't care who I'm going against, I just care about win. Like, that's all I care about. John Hill, come to you. Oscar, you guys are usually the hunted. Everybody's coming from you. Now you're playing a team that's, you know, arguably the best team in the country, according to the rankings. What's kind of the mindset just of the group going into a matchup like that? The mindset for us right now is like, we're going to the war. We're going to the war. It's not going to be easy. We just need to go out there and fight. It's like people go fight for their countries. They're not gonna just go out and play around. They're gonna go there like willing to die. So we're willing to die just to bring win in Saturday. It is gonna be a great game for us. Like you say, everybody just want to hunt us, but this one is not hunting. This is what this is a fight against against all the team is really good. But the fight is not against somebody else for us. It's against ourselves. We battle if we battle against ourselves. I don't think nobody can really beat us. Tyler Thompson, we'll come to you. Hey, Oscar, I saw the clip of you guys dancing off the court at College Station with Ty Ty. You've been a member of several you know, college teams or seasons. What is the vibe like around this squad right now? The vibe is really good for us. Um, we having fun. We really having fun. We uh, this is this is a part of the team I have been like we are so together and we care for each other. So the dance was just celebrating because the, the game was not easy. We fight. So that's why we are having fun at the end. Jerry Sipkin, go ahead. Yeah, Oscar, I wonder just with Auburn, how good are they? They've only lost one game, I believe, all season. What makes them good? Uh, what makes them good is what they do. They just fight. Um, we fight too. They lost one game, but for us, we just go out and fight. They just good as we are. We are good too, but like we're not gonna let how good they are affect us. We are just like them, and uh, we're gonna go there. We're not gonna take anything easy. We know it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be forty minute game. We're just gonna go out there and fight and uh, and finish the game, finish the business. I've been thinking uh, since the Vandy game where you had 30 points, and I wanted to ask you, if you had, if you could only have one, would you rather have 30 points or 30 rebounds? Because uh, rebound really win the game. 30 points is good. You might, like, I, have, I saw so many NBA players, they have 50, they have 60, but they still lost. But if the team, they have one guy had 30 rebounds, I don't think that team have a heavy loss. So we're bound to win the game for me. Eric Graves, go ahead. Oscar, what, what's the process been like in terms of you and the guards, you know, kind of getting on the same page and, and working on that chemistry? Did it, did it happen right away? Or, you know, what we're seeing, is that just part of a process? Uh, it is part of the process. We communicate. We uh, we talk a lot. Spend the time together. We just talk, communicate. How we gotta fight. How we gotta be a good team. How we gotta help each other. Um, we do a lot of different things. Not a lot of teams do. 
that's one thing I love the most about this team because uh, we communicate. If I see you not doing good, I see you not making shots, I'm going to come knock on your door, go get in the gym because we need you to make shots. If I see you do something that is not helping us, I'm totally not. You, you got to stop. If you don't stop, now I'm going to get the coaches involved. So we communicate a lot of different ways. And the help for us to help this team, we got to fix the mistakes every time you see it. Matthias with AL.com, go ahead. Hey, thanks for the time, brother. Um, what have you noticed in your film of watching Jabari and Walker Kessler and how that matchup could play out? Uh, what they do, like, uh, like uh, the big man is not really, like, he's not like that's happy to give him the ball in the post, just finish on somebody. He's the somebody who say ball screen and go for lab. Ball screen and go for lab. Uh, so, like, we got to stop that. And uh, I don't think he'll be able to stop me, too, because I don't see them trap. Most of the team we play against, they just trap me down there. Um, and I'm proud of my teammates for making shot finishing because you cannot just go through me. Sometimes they're going to close out to me and I want them to make shot. And that's where, that's when I want, I'm going for every rebound too. So like, I think, I think we good, we good. We're going to go out there and fight and then we're going to find out after the game, who's the better team. Um, what are you most looking forward to matching up with those guys? Say it again, please. What are you most looking forward to in the matchup with those guys? For me, uh, like the big uh, the big man is just to go out there and fight because it's kind of like top pick. Um, for me, it's go out there and show what I can do. I'm not going to take any any players for granted. I'm going to go out there and fight for my teammates too. I told them exactly the same thing. Uh, this is for our life. We're fighting for our life. Uh, there's nothing easy. Nothing worth, like you say, is going to be given to you. This is for our life. You got to go out and fight. You got to go out and take what is yours. You got to take what you deserve. Because if you're waiting for them to come give it to you, sometimes it's going to take a long time to give it to you. Sometimes you got to go snatch in somebody's hands. We're going to play at their home. Probably they never lost, but like uh, this is going to be a great matchup. For us, we're going to go take it what we think we deserve. We're gonna go fight for our, for our victory. That's what I'm, I'm looking forward to see. Now, Chuck, go back to you. Yeah, Oscar. I think everybody kind of acknowledges at this point that that Kentucky is not easy. That there's a lot a lot hard about being a uh, in the spotlight at Kentucky and the expectation and the challenge. I wonder, from your perspective, you've talked about challenging some of your teammates. Who on this team? among your teammates has impressed you the most with how they've handled maybe some of the challenge or stress or, or hard times that come with being at Kentucky? I would say like somebody like Tatai. Tatai had a lot of pressures on him, a lot of weight in the shoulder. I got to, if he's not doing good, it seems like worried a little bit. Um, I told him, I said, everything is a part of the process. You have to learn. You got to keep climbing. You should never let anything affect you, how you want to enjoy, live your life, how you want to play basketball. Just play. You play good, that is you day. You play not good, just get back in the gym and forget about what people are saying. That's how it's going to get you better. For us, we got a lot of people too in the team. They worry from probably they're not playing a lot. Coach, you want to train them. They got to be strong. They got to know this game is not easy. Especially some freshmen, I'll probably say Bryce and uh, Damien. Like, they a little bit struggle, but like, uh, I'm always told them, you guys are good. This is your freshman year. You got like 45 years in college to get better. And look at me, like, I'm, I'm a junior. I went through a lot my freshman year, sophomore year. But look at now, I got experience now. I understand the things. Don't rush the things. You just got to go slow, 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 slow. And everything is going to be good. It's going to be okay. That's why I always tell them. John Hale, come back to you. 
Oscar, outside your locker room, there's a lot of focus on whether Shaden's going to play this year or not. Just what have you actually seen from him in, in whatever practice he's been able to do so far? He has been great. He has been helping us. Um, he's doing good. Right now, the little bit problem with him is because he does not really know the plays. So now, Coach, um, coach you just uh, let him practice with us. And uh, whenever Coach, you think he's ready, Probably we're going to see him through him in the game this year. But, like, I don't know what Coach is thinking about him. But, like, for us, he has been so helpful for us. He's doing really good. How exactly has he helped you? How does that translate? It translates from, like, because he can go. He can do a lot of different things in the practice. Um, he's doing a lot of different things with the same with Tatai, uh, um, Kellen, a lot of different things. So, like, uh, he's just hiding something good in the team, too. You know, he just had something good. He can go, he can stop those people. And he, he's getting better, too, by guarding those people and by trying to run some offense, too, and learning the players. Gary Graves, go ahead. Oscar, how satisfying was it to, to win uh, the other night down there in a hostile environment? And, and you know, what is that, that, that process like this year, maybe going back to last year with um, limited attendance, how have you adapted? From the winning, that really means a lot for us. And that means, like, we have a good team. For me, I would say we have a good team. We did not shoot the ball really good, but we did not let the rope go because uh, we're not that type of people who, when things get hard and they just let it go, we fight until the end. So, that win it really help us, and we know it give us much confidence for next away game. So we gotta work because we saw it was not easy to win at away game. So that really give us confidence, and uh, we're gonna be ready for next away game because you no, know, it's not just gonna be just like go out there and beat like we be Vendy. No, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be, a, like Coach said, it's going to be a dog fight. We're going to go out there. You don't fight, you lose. You fight, you win the game. That's what Coach is always saying.